Hey there, welcome back to News at 5. I'm meteorologist Julia Quady. And of course, the forecast is looking very different from what we saw last week. We don't have any more shower activity. Of course, our temperatures are now starting to increase, getting back up there into the 90s. Last week, we saw our temperatures kind of struggle, being well below average, only making at the best, maybe around into the mid 80s. But very different picture here as we take a look at our Snoopy's cam, our CCAC Snoopy's cam over at Snoopy's Pier, where we can see all that ample sunshine that was not in place at all for us last week. So now we got that sunshine back and that that also means for higher temperatures for us this week and already we're feeling like that this afternoon temperatures well into the 90s and our feel like temperatures back up into the triple digits as well here in Corpus Christi currently sitting at 90 degrees with our feel like temperature at 104 90 degrees in Rob South your feel like temperature at 106 Kingsville being a bit of the hot spot here sitting at 94 degrees for your air temperature but feeling like 111 and moving on over to Rockport you guys are sitting at 89 degrees with your feel like temperature at 103 this afternoon so we're back to feeling more of that heat and humidity that we're familiar with here in the coastal bend. So that means taking a look at our muggy meter, we're going to be back in that oppressive range with our dew point values consistently being close by into the upper 70s or into the low 80s. So that means we're going to be in for a pretty hot and humid and sticky week here in the coastal bend. The only thing that's going to combat that is actually going to be that next plume of Saharan dust that is scheduled to make its way to the coastal bend as soon as tomorrow. So with that, we're going to be seeing a bit of a switch up from maybe humidity to more slightly drier air in the coastal bend. So that's going to mean our air temperatures, they're going to pick up a little bit while our feel like temperatures will kind of be riding around just a little bit close to that cusp where we're getting close to that criteria of seeing heat advisories going to place, but just not quite close enough for that to actually happen for us and to go into effect here in our area. But either way, we're already starting to see a bit of a decrease now into our feel like temperatures now starting to slowly drop out of the triple digits by the time we get into the evening hours, going back down into the low 90s. But then again, looking ahead to tomorrow afternoon, we'll be back, of course, with our triple digit feel like temperatures on the way for us on our Tuesday afternoon. But like I said, we'll be combating Adding that humidity is going to be that next plume of Saharan dust pushing its way to the coastal bend around tomorrow afternoon as well into the late nighttime hours. So with that, we're going to see that pushing its way into the coastal bend around that time frame. And of course, it's going to cause issues with our air quality yet again. We'll start to see a bit of a drop in that going back down to that moderate range. So not too bad of a jump, of course, from us being in that good green range back down to that yellow. But still, folks who are a little bit more sensitive, of course, having allergy problems, respiratory issues, you still want to make sure you're taking Taking note of this and maybe limiting your time outdoors just a little bit to err on the side of caution to be safe with that because this next plume of Saharan dust is going to stick around with us in terms of impacts for at least the early part of this week and potentially for the rest of this week ahead. So again, just be wary of that. Just be careful and make sure you're staying on top of that to be on air on the side of caution and also giving you a quick tropical update. We've been, of course, monitoring this new area of Tropical disturbance, of course, is early on Friday where the National Hurricane Center said this little system has a 20% chance of formation. But now, since this weekend has upped up a little bit, now this area now has a moderate chance of formation, so around 50% chance at this point. Still way off into the central Atlantic and with this forecast to track as it potentially makes formation is right now scheduled to go near the Caribbean islands as well, maybe potentially making its way to the area of Florida. But of course, it's way far out in terms of your forecast. We'll continue to update you on that as, of course, the National Hurricane Center gives us more information about it. But here at home, taking a look at your seven day forecast, all we have is hot and hazy conditions on the way. Temperatures still being into low to mid 90s.